Hello and welcome to another video of Hey Journey. This is Sims 4 and this guy looks like Pierce from Saints Row. Anyway, we're going to play with the Sims 4 customization and have a look what we have to offer. In the Sims 4, you are able to choose from a selective side of options and scroll or edit yourself. You are able to simply grab and pull and create the look you wish to create. You can either make a masterpiece or a monster. In The Sims 4, you are actually able to change the iris size. You can make something that looks like it belongs in the garage, or something that looks kawaii as hell. So grabbing and pulling at the body shapes, you can create whatever look you like. Boobs that look like they belong on Pamela Anderson, or boobs that look like they belong to your grandmother. Butts that look like they belong to Nicki Minaj, or a flat butt, like mine. Now you can create whatever shape you want, from apple to pear, and you can be more realistic with the body shapes. So you can be more like you. The clothes you have to choose from are very simple, you don't have many, but as you will go on, you'll get more DLC and more clothes to choose from. In Sims 4, you're able to actually choose a waddle, a walk, from being lazy to bouncy or up yourself. With traits, you don't have as many traits to pick from, but they kept the basics of traits. They're giving you a lot more tattoo styles, so you can be more creative with what you create and get similar ones to like your own. With the hair colours and all creativity colors actually you only have a certain amount to pick from you do not have a sliding scale to choose from a large amount of colors or even create your own colors so in this one you just have what they have to choose from luckily they did have my color so i made a character with my hair color but that is it in sims 4 they actually give you the option to pick from ready-made rooms and drop them into your area you can pick from three or four uh, colors or basis rooms and you can actually grab your room and rotate them and move the whole house if you want. You can change the wall size very easily on this one. It is a big improvement on the creation of the house and it does save you a lot of time if you just want to make a basic house quick go. You can drag your whole house around, shape the rooms very easily and they even give you pre-made gardens. Just drop one in there if you want and it's very easy. Now, they've also given you the ability to upscale items. You want a giant dragon in your lawn? Have a giant dragon on your lawn. It's very easy. You just have to shift, just have to hold shift and bracket at the same time and go to the, the size you wish. Want a giant dollhouse in the yard? Get a giant dollhouse in the yard. Who the fuck's going to stop you? So, there you have it. The creation is a big upgrade compared to the other ones. So, there is one thing. They took out pools. They still have fountains that look like pools, but not pools. So, if you want to kill your sim, you're going to have to chuck them in a room and watch them go insane. Because now, unfortunately, you can't drown your sims. Oh, we all know we love to drown our sims. So, we just chuck our sims in a room, watch them pass out into their own puddles of urine, because that is highly attractive. But this seems to be either them burning and suffocating the only way to now watch your sims suffer with the new death of sims they make it a very prolonged dragged out interaction with the grim reaper he sits there with his board for about 20 unnecessary minutes trying to find your name which is highly irritating and well if you're like me you kill all your sims and if you're like me you're really bad at keeping them alive and they will all die on you so, reaching game over. Interaction, you actually have the ability to make whatever servings you want in the fridge, same as single servings, so that's cool. Uh, interaction has been improved tenfold, they have more emotions, more motocons, and the ability to multitask, such as sitting down and playing games and talking to each other while they watch TV. So, add in achievements for the most randomest of things. Example, staying up for 24 hours not talking to people for 24 hours. You get achievements for everything you do. So go out, explore, do things you've never done before, collect items, and you will get achievements for everything. Uh, thank you for watching. If anything, uh, I prefer Sims 3 over Sims 4 personally. Uh, the graphics are so much more cartoony and they've really given up on realism. They also took out toddler phase, so you, straight, you go straight from having an infant to having a child. I personally thought the toddler phase was a very good interactive section to have in the game. You know, teaching them to walk, teaching them to talk, potty training them. It was very interesting and I did enjoy that. I loved having toddlers everywhere and they took that. That was one of my favourite parts of the game out. Hopefully they might bring it back into Generations if they, you know, bring expansion packs out of Generations or anything like that. But until then, unfortunately, I am not a big fan of Sims 4. Sad face. Thank you for watching and check out my other social networks and blah 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 blah. Bye!